Hello everyone, and today we're back at the Samara Lumion Legacy PvP, and today we are showcasing Duskhead, but we are showcasing Fade Away. Yep, it's got a new move called Fade Away, meaning that now Melee Duskhead can pivot. This is pretty much my Melee Duskhead from before, but now it can pivot, which is amazing, and I'm pretty excited to use it. I changed my item though from Mind Essence to Spirit Essence just so Fade Away can hit a little bit harder, and Aha! There's a wrestling and a Terra Claw and a Metatoad I can use it against, which is awesome. I'm gonna bring my Terra Claw because I need it. I'm gonna bring you because you look amazing. If I can get rid of wrestling, I'll bring Vesperat. No, I don't have anything for Luminami other than you. And I think I'll bring Vesperatu. Although I don't really have anything. Uh, I'll bring Zephyr actually. We'll leave off with the Dusk and hopefully it doesn't leave Nimmer Nevermare. Metatoad lead, that's perfect actually, because I can pivot. I can pivot, fade away. Oh, I didn't, oh, I clicked Shadow Sprint by accident. Yeah, I usually have fade away in my other slot. Oops. Uh, not off to a great start there, Josh. You accidentally clicked the wrong move. Just, I kind of hope he goes Luminami. Oops. That's not off to a great start for the Dust Gang. <laughs> Licking Shadow Sprit by accident. I did not want to do that. It's fine. I resist all your moves, so it's not really that not bad. I think he's going to go Luma. Actually, that's okay. Terra Claw comes in. That's fine. Shadow Sprint does okay-ish damage. And yeah, I can pretty much do this, so I'm going to go for the Fade Away. I clicked the wrong move. Fade Away. How much would that do? Oh, I did some nice damage with Terra Claw. Now, who do I predict coming in? I'm gonna go Zephyrin. Oh, do I though? Hmm, is Zephyrin the play here? Uh, or is Terra Claw the play? We'll go Zephyrin. I think it's Zephyrin is a range attacker, but the problem is, is that Terra Claw. Terra Claw is gonna tank the hit anyway, because it's Terra Claw. Although, I don't know why it would Eerie Stare. Okay. It basically dropped the coverage move. Like, that's the thing I don't understand what Eerie Stare. Yes, it lowers your melee defense, but, you know. It doesn't really matter for the most part. Thunder comes in though, and this thing is a little scary. I wish I clicked Mudslide. Uh, I'll go for the Duskit play. Duskit's kind of the only thing I have for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go Duskit. I'll go Duskit and I'll fade away again. Those are chilly. Don't do too much. Jeez, that hits so hard! How does that hit so hard? My god, Hunter. Oh, we're going Terror Claw then. Well, we might have just lost the Hunter. I went Blaze Chomp too. I didn't even go for another move. Can I live one Chili Chomp so I can defeat it with Rough Up? Yeah, I have nothing for Hunter. This is really fun. Not really. Yeah, I lose the Hunter. I lose the Hunter. Yeah, I lose the Hunter game. That is not good. Hey, there's no way this thing lives. I have to go Chartiki. Live the hit. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta rely on it living a Mega Chomp. No. Live one. I live one. Don't flinch. Thank you. My goodness. I All I did was lose Terra Claw. Darn, all I did was lose Paraclaw, one of the things I needed for it. Darn, that sucks. And if he has Nevermare, it's pretty much over. He goes wrestling there, which is fine. I can go into my Duskit here. I can go into Duskit. Let's see what he does. Uh, he went bulk up, of course it did. But I'm going to pivot out. But I'm going to pivot out. I'm going to pivot out with Fade Away. He stays in. Go for the Fade Away. Does some nice damage. Pivot back out into Zeppelin. And Zeppelin should be able to take out the wrestling here. So yeah, we'll do that. How much will its Blaze Punch do? Ow! You do so much damage! Heavy offense at its finest. I was able to get rid of wrestling though. And my Dust Game is still alive. My Duskit is still alive, but Metatoad's going to be a nightmare now. He has Metatoad, it's going to be a nightmare. And I knew he had Metatoad. 
and I have no weapons for a Metatoad. So, oh boy, I'm just gonna have to sack Zeppelin. I know he has a Power Claw, but that's all I have to do. Like, this sucks. I had no swappings because I lost Power Claw to a Hunter. Man, that sucks. We'll go, we'll go Dusk it again. And then we'll fade away. Fade away into Mocho. He swapped again. Go, Power Claw. That was needed. With Zeflin dead, that might be what we needed. Now, it is time for Mocho to do some magic. Boy, we need Mocho to do a little magic here. I'm just gonna go with the Frost Mean, because I have to. Because I have to. I don't think it one-shots you, but I think I could two-shot you. I hope I can. Yeah, I two-shot you. Perfect. Parasitize? Ooh. Don't get too much HP. That's too much HP, isn't it? Oh, no, that's too much HP, isn't it? We'll go for a uh, Frost Mean again. Like, the problem is, this is the only thing. That's the only thing I have for Terra Claw. But I take out the Terra Claw, thankfully. We needed to get rid of that Terra Claw. I do outspeed Nevermare. So if he has Nevermare still in the back, he has Toad still. Darn, he still has the Toad. Do I just Frost Beam it and hope I live? I have to. Have to frost beam it and hope its last one isn't ridiculous. I do get a freeze, but that doesn't really help at all if your last one is Nevermare. His last one's Nevermare, let me guess. I'm screwed, aren't I? Because his last one's Nevermare. Darn, his last one is Nevermare, isn't it? I lost. I know, I know. Because I just know how these teams are created. His last one's Nevermare, isn't it? Just have a can of honesty here. Your last one's Nevermare, and I lost, right? Anyway, Duskit did good in this first battle, but it won't matter if your last one's Nevermare. Which I bet you it is. <laughs> and I think it was! I lost to Nevermare! Gosh dang it! If that hunter didn't completely mess me- Oh my gosh! He threw! That's the definition of a throw, if I ever saw one. That's the definition of a throw. Can I tell you why? My Duskit has Shadow Sprint. My Duskit has Shadow Sprint. Oh my gosh! He threw! He threw! He threw! Oh my god, let's head into battle number two. I'm going to take it! Alright, battle number two. I do not know how I won that first battle. That first battle was absolute ridiculousness. So yeah, let's just move on. There is a Vesperatu, which I have this thing for, so that's good. I also have my own Vesperatu for it. Well, I gotta bring you for the Upsidragon, or otherwise that thing is gonna be almost annoying. Buneri on its team is really scary. Also, that thing. So yeah, it's going to be very hard to use Fade Away in this fight. Vesperatu, though, could be very nice in this battle. Fenelon's going to be annoying, but I don't think Fenelon's going to be the worst. It's mainly going to be the Obstidragon and that thing. I can pivot out. It's nothing that is immune to light, which is good. I can pivot. But he has Thing Resist to Spirit, so that's going to be kind of tough. I want to lose Zeppelin, but where do I bring Mocho and have Deep Freeze? Yeah, Deep Freeze is a threat, so I will actually bring it. I'll lead off with my Dusket and just see who he leads with. He leads with Mocho, which is a fade away. I'm going for a fade away here. I could fade away into Luminami here. Even with Deep Threes being a even with Deep Threes, I can fade away here. So yeah, we'll fade away. Do some nice damage. And we'll go. Luminami. We'll go Luminami here. I'm scared, because peace of mind is a definite threat. Oh. Can I live a plus one from Mocho? Can I live a plus one from Mocho? Because I need this thing. Oh, he doesn't have the other move. 
He doesn't have Deep Freeze. That probably would have took me out, actually, now looking at the damage it did. Oh, what do I do then? I could live a plus one, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to live a plus one on Power Claw. So I'm going to go into it. And just get rid of this thing. Because, yeah, this thing has to go down. I know this Peppermint Breath's going to suck. Especially if I get burned. I didn't get burned. Which means Mocho's now dead. And my Terra Claw can come back into the battle against Venolin. So, that actually worked out okay. And plus, my Duskit is still alive, which is fine. Nimray is going to be a nightmare to beat. I always struggle against Nimray in these videos. Like, I don't know why. My teams are always so weak to Nimray. Oh, you guys did a Boonary. Oh, uh, that ain't good. Oh, uh, that ain't good. I didn't want Terra Claw to come in on a Boonary. Not at all. Weak, 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 weak. And potentially weak. So, yeah, we'll go this, I think. We'll go Luminami. Yeah, it goes for the rough up. Is he boots? If he's boots, this is perfect. I'm gonna go for Maroon here and just try to mess up his energy calcs. Mess up his energy calcs. He swapped into Venolin, which makes sense. That's perfectly fine for me. Well, bang! Massive damage. Now, are you Heavy Shackles? I'm not sure if you're Heavy Shackles, so... Let's see if you are. Let's see if you're Heavy Shackles. This will test to see if you're Heavy Shackles. You're not. So, Dive Assault's gonna hit me decently hard, but not too hard. Flashing Flea out. Gonna go into my Duskit. Duskit can come in here. And I'm going for the... I'm going for the... This thing. Cerebral Slash. So, yeah. Duskit's... Fade Away Duskit actually makes Melee Duskit really scary. This makes Melee Dust get really scary. It took out the Venolin. Nice! Some Fade Away on Duskit makes it surprisingly pretty scary. And he left the game. Let's head into battle number three with Fade Away Duskit. Battle number three with Fade Away Duskit. And let's see what you have. Don't have anything with Shadow Sprint. Awesome. Nothing has Shadow Sprint. Although, there is a Eclipse and there's a Nimurai, meaning that pivoting is going to be kind of a nightmare, and I'm forced to bring Terra Claw. But boy, I'm bringing these two. And the reason why, Mutagon. Although, a lot of the weight is weight on the Terra, is on Terra Claw. So I need to reduce that weight. Which one will do it, though? I think you can, and I think you can. I gotta bring this thing for the threat of that. But I gotta get rid of Mutagon as well. Actually, Zephyrin could be nice. Zephyrin could be a nice bring here, actually. It could be. If I can get rid of Nimurai, maybe. No Luminami's gonna suck. Yeah, I wanna, as much as I wanna bring, oh no, yeah, there's a Sea Drake, so yeah, I am gonna bring it. I'm gonna leave off with the best Spiratu and see if I can see it to Cliff's lead. That's the thing. And I, and I'm, and this is a level 92 player, so I just wanna remind you. If my Vesperatu's in the field, you may go into your Mutagon, but do you really think I'm gonna fall for this play? Do you really think I'm gonna not click Slash? I'm clicking Slash! Go into your Eclipse! Wow! How didn't I think? How didn't I think of that? It's like I knew! It's almost like I knew you were going to do that! <laughs> yep, yep, Teclips. I'm not losing to a Teclips again. Not again. So yeah, I get slashed on. That's big. If I get one more hit on the Teclips too, that would be nice. Gamma Pulse is going to do a little bit of damage. I'm going to predict. Okay, you have to crit me. I see how it is, Teclips. You have to crit me. I'm going to go for the Baneful Bash just to predict the Mutagon coming in. Also, Mutagon got a nerf recently. Mutagon now, the Mutagon actually is weak to... Oh, it has lower melee defense, so it's actually going to take more damage to it now. And that's who insane predicts in a row. So great job by me. <laughs> yeah, that was a great start by me. So I'm going to go into my Duskit. Duskit can come in here. And I'm going to click Cerebral Slash. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. He predicted that. The predict on his part. I'm predicting to clips again. I'm predicting to clips. I'm predicting to clips again. Okay? I'm predicting to clips. Go into it. Oh, he didn't go to clips. He went Cedric, actually. 
And that's some okay damage. Nice. Okay. I wish I could fade away. We're gonna go Chartiki. Ah, uh, we're gonna go Chartiki here. So yeah, Chartiki can come in here. I'm gonna go for Muck Blast. In case he goes back into Mutagon out of nowhere. Oh, he actually went Thorn Slam. Perfect. I didn't even mean to do that. We're gonna go Muck Blast in case he goes either Zulong or anything else. So yeah, Muck Blast is coming in here. He goes into that thing. Oh, no. Oh, that was a bad play on my part. Jetstream coming our way, isn't it? A Jetstream's coming our way. But who do I go into? <laughs> uh, what do I do here? Uh, I kind of got to stall him down. We'll go, I'll go Mocho. But I kind of don't know what we do here. Gargolem is not great by any stretch of imagination. I definitely die to a Boom Bash. I definitely die to a Boom Bash. Definitely die to a Boom Bash. Dust gets so low, though. We'll go for Frost Beam. Darn, I knew we had it, too. I live, though! So, okay. That's big. Gargolem is dead. That's still a lot of damage, though. Like, Gargolem, I'm definitely gonna showcase Gargolem in the future, especially the attack variant. Can't believe Mocho lived that, though. To be fair, it's very high rage defense. Mutagon comes back in, but it doesn't matter that much. I can fade away, so... Yeah, there's kind of no reason to keep this thing anymore. So I'm just gonna go for Frostbeam. That's actually gonna take out the Mutagon, I think, which is nice. Oh, it actually just took it out! Jeez! Mocho, you hit hard! Oh my gosh, he... Yeah, oh yeah, because he probably doesn't have Quick Punch. Does your C-Drake outspeed me? Oh my god, did your C-Drake outspeed me? It doesn't! Oh my god! Well, Mocho just popped off, and he just left the game. So, let's head into battle number four with Fadeaway Dusk. Alright, we're into battle number four now. I don't think I even got into Dusk at last. I don't know, I did for a little bit. I did it until one Lumion. I did on the Mutagon, but that's it. But... Is it, that's the third Nimray I've seen today. That's the third Nimray I've seen today. There's also a Windolin, another Seed Drake, so I'm bringing you for that. Another Mocho. Been seeing a bunch of these recently. Uh, bring you for the Avatross. And I guess I'll bring Luminami? Uh, yeah, for the Windolin, I could see. Oh, there's a Seed Drake. I can't do that. Uh, we'll go Best or you? Best for you, best for you. I'll go Sumo. So I already got Duskit, so I'll do that, I think. Although that could be good for that, but no, I don't have Shadow Spray anymore, so yeah, I gotta just dip. I hope he doesn't lead Windolin. Let's see, though. Don't lead Windolin. He led Nimere. That's horrible, actually. I don't really have anything to go into Nimere, apart from my Ice Cream. So yeah, that's kind of all I have for the Nimere. So I am actually going to go into it. And let's just see what you have. Do you have any resists that I could possibly think of? Do you have any resists that I can possibly think of? There's none that I can actually think of. I don't want to be predictable. So I'm going into Chartiki. I'm going to go Chartiki predicting, predicting, let's say, oh, he stayed in. Oh, are you kidding me? You're telling me he would click peace of mind. Did I just lose? Can I tell y'all something? I think I might have just lost. Because he decided to click peace of mind on a mocho. And get a critical hit. So, that's fun. Got the poison at least. But 2 HP. Like a 2 HP Chartiki is really going to help me. I'll click Muck Blast again. That sucks. I cannot believe he clicked peace of mind. Freaking Frost Beam is a, when Frost Beam's a thing. That sucks so much. Frost Beam's a potential threat stays in. Thing is, I had nothing for Nimere, so I have to go into Terror Claw. 
Or I could go Zeppelin, but Tower Claw is the best option because it's a range tank. Oh, that sucks so much. I'm gonna predict the perch though. I'll predict them the perch though. You're gonna perch, right? You're gonna perch. I mean, your health is pretty low. You're gonna perch, right? Right? You're gonna perch. You're gonna perch. You actually swapped out surprisingly. In who though? Avatross. Okay, Avatross. Not the end of the world. Get some free damage on the Avatross. Get a critical hit, actually. That's nice. And I can go into Ice Cream, but there's kind of no reason to when I can go into Duskit. Yeah, Duskit looks good here. I like that. I like the Duskit swap in here. I can outburst it. Aha! Gotcha! Gotcha there. I'm going to go for an outburst here. Go for an outburst here and just try to do some major damage. Okay, I think Avatross is dead. That still did some okay damage, but I think we're okay. Outburst is going to do a ton. Doesn't quite take it out, but that's what that's what Shadow Sprint is used for. So get Shadow Sprinted on. <laughs> Shadow Sprint for the win. That's why you love Shadow Sprint right there. Thing is, his Nimray is really scary. His Windolin is also really scary. Man, I... Okay, Charteki would have died to that. Oh my god. <laughs> everything kind of dies. I hate to say it, everything kind of dies. I think everything kind of dies. Yeah, everything kind of dies. So yeah, that's fun. He swapped. Nimray, be Nimray, be Nimray, be Nimray. Thank you, it's Nimray. And good to know that it isn't actually SA. It is an SA, so that's fine. So he's not going to be poison, which does kind of suck, but it could be way worse. It is the only thing I have for the Nimray, and I need to get the poison on it and predict his purchase. That's the only way I'm going to beat this. And he actually goes for peace of mind. I don't know why you're setting up on a Terra Claw when it has potential. One, this could have potential Mega Chomp. And two, if you click Perch, you're in trouble. No, you just put Air Whip. Don't flinch. That did 60 damage. Thanks for the flinch game. Thanks a lot. Just great game. Thanks for the flinch. First ties. Thanks for the flinch. Let me guess. Another one? Another one? Let me guess. Another one? Thank you. <laughs> I want to say. Another one? Okay. Now the Windolin's going to be a nightmare. How do we beat the Windolin now? If it doesn't have Shadow Sprint, we should be fine. But it's got to be Shadow Sprint. I don't know why you wouldn't run Shadow Sprint in this scenario. And yeah, that Windolin is looking really scary. I'm terrified about that. I'm terrified about this thing a little bit. Especially if you are Shadow Sprint. Type of Assault. And I live somehow because I'm Terra Claw. So that's going to do a ton of damage. Pretty nice number of damage there. Right, Terra Claw? Gonna go for the weight. Thing is, I have no idea if I can beat this thing. I don't think I'm gonna beat this thing at all. Uh, I think I've lost. Oh, I might look that. Yeah, I only hit twice. Nice, I only hit twice. One more attack, maybe? I get one more attack, maybe. Actually, I think Windolin. I think Zeppelin can come in. I died of that, though. <laughs> See, I. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to save on energy, because he knows. Zeppelin's my only swap in here. Yeah, Zeppelin's my only swap in. So yeah, I gotta go into that. Go for this move. He swapped! Nimere can't come in. Mocho instead comes in. I resonate. Do some okay-ish damage. Provoke it! Provoke! So he can't set up. Wah! Ah, 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 ah. Provoke so you don't set up. Okay. Now we're in a very interesting scenario. I can't go into my own mocho, unfortunately, so I'm just gonna go mudslide. Oh, he swapped! His last one's Seedre, which is good to know. His last one's Seedre. And that's unfortunate that he predicted that. We'll go resonate again. Because I'm willing to stay in and do, do some chip. You are actually boots. Good to know you are actually boots. Please do so much to the point that I can sprint you. Oh, I actually just did that. Perfect. I just did that. Windolin, no. Windolin. Looks scary. 
Man, Wendelin looks scary here. We're going to see if you are Shadow Sprint. Actually, well, I guess we're not going to see it. Perfectly fine for me. Looks like we're not going to see if you're Shadow Sprint or not. I don't think it's going to peace of mind. I'm going to go for the mudslide. I don't think it's going to go for peace of mind, knowing that provoke is a thing. Oh, wait. Duh! No, it dodged. Are you kidding me? It dodged. Lame. Lame. Absolutely lame. Oh, and that screws me up, too. I might actually lose now. Okay, you're getting greedy. You, don't you think it's a little too greedy, Mocho, when Mudslide is a potential thing? Does no damage. I lost to Mocho! Woo! Boy! Does that have Deep Freeze and? Does it not have Boom Bash? If it doesn't have Boom Bash, Ice Cream still wins. <sighs> it probably has it. Please. Please. Of course you have Boom Bash. And you crit me too? Like, dude, you know you don't have to do that? It's over. I lost this final battle. From a Dodge Mocho! Yeah, I'm not ending the video on a loss. I'm doing one more battle, and hopefully this battle's great. This battle already looks pretty good. There's a Metronet Stratosaur. He has his own Dusket, which I can sprint. I also, there's a Mutagon as well. So yeah, this looks like a great battle. I like this. I like this battle. Gonna bring, uh, gonna bring Luminami. Luminami looks pretty good here. I have nothing for the Stratosaur, so that's gonna be very fun to deal with. Stratosaur is gonna be very fun to deal with. Not really. I'll bring Vess. Oh, I would've bring Zephyrin. But yeah, Imperior's a nightmare. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll lead with Duskit and see if we can get a good matchup. He leads off with his own Duskit. Oh, I want to Shadow Sprint so bad, but I'm not taking any risk. I'm not taking any risk. I'm going to the Terror Claw. I'm not taking any risk that could potentially lose my Showcase Lumion. Yeah, you're ranged, Duskit. I probably could have Shadow Sprint it yet, but you know what? Not taking any dumb risk. I will take a risk on Mutagon coming in now, because that is pretty obvious. Right, Mutagon? Mutagon, right? Mutagon? Mutagon? Go into it. Go Mutagon. Go Mutagon. Go Mutagon. Oh, it could go Stratosaur. Imperior? Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot about Imperior. Uh, I kind of forgot about him. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot about you. I'll go for a rough... Hmm, I don't want to lose you, though. I don't want to lose you. I'm going to test something. I'm going to go Luminami. And I'm going to see if that ability works with... I'm going to see if that ability works, Resentful works with Flat Pivot. It's at least something I want to test out. I have no melee attack, so that doesn't really matter. So does Resentful work with Flash and Flay? Let's see, does Resentful work? Oh, it still works! Yeah, Resentful is just going to be... Resentful's really tough to deal with. Yeah, so Resentful the Nightmare, so yeah. So yeah, you can't even pivot out of Resentful if it KOs it. I'm gonna go into my own Duskit here. Metronet, which I'm going to do this. I'm gonna fade away. Because I outspeed your Metronet, so I'm gonna fade away out of it. Bang! Nice damage. Go into Terra. Terra Claw hops back in, and with Imperior dead, Terra Claw looks like the pop-off here. Are you peace of mind? You're a Phantom Slash Metronet. That's why you stayed in on a Duskit. Now go Mutagon. I know you brought the Mutagon. Go into it. Oh, to be fair, would he really bring it when there's a Duskit and a Vesperatu? He would do it, because it's Mutagon. It does have Tank, which means I am going to be able to hit it, which is nice. But Tank is still going to make it Tank to hit well. Oh, Rachel Plushie isn't fun, though. Rageful plushie is not fun. We're going back into Duskit, because Duskit has better melee defense than Vesperatu. So yeah, we'll go. We'll go into that. Although Vesperatu can get health back, I think this is better. Let's do it. Plus, I can fade away. I want to use my Showcase Lumion. 
Frost Punch. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I didn't do as much as I thought. And hey, you can harmonize. That's fun. I like that. And I'm going to fade away, I think. Yeah, we're going to fade away. So fade away. We're going to fade away out of this matchup. I don't think he has anything that is immune to spirit. So this is perfect. He swaps out. He goes into Cephalops, which I faded out of. Oh, and I get a critical hit as well, which is nice. So now, Terra Claw hops back in. It's basically just free Terra Claw. And again, I am painful bashing to predict the Mutagon. He stayed in this time. Okay, fair play. He stared. In, he stayed in this time. Fair play. I don't think I one shot you with that though. One HP. Literally, 1 HP again. I'm gonna go for a rest, just get my energy back up. Because I can still use this Terra Claw for Duskit. I can still use this Terra Claw for the Duskit, so yeah. Soul Drain does no damage. Soul Drain does no damage. He's not getting health back with Terra Claw, he has to swap out. He's trapped. He's trapped. He's trapped. He's trapped. Mutagon again. Mutagon again. He did go back into Duskit. Wow. Bold. It's going to get harmonized, isn't it? Okay, nope. Harmonize didn't go off. Good. Now I can go for Parasitize and get rid of this Duskit. And honestly, you know what's good here? Duskit's going to pop off the rest of the fight. Duskit pops off the rest of the fight. Which is insane. Let's see what you do here, though. Oh, uh, what does the Duskit do? Stays in and you lose Duskit. Good job, you lost Duskit. So yeah, he lost Duskit. That's good. That's a good job on your part. So yep, Duskit's now dead. I'm gonna go. He's probably gonna go Mutagon. Mutagon. Yeah, he doesn't want to take a hit on it. I know that. I know he doesn't want to take a hit on this thing. He does go back into it. Uh, I'm gonna go Duskit again, because I want to use Duskit. So, I, yeah, I'm going into it. I don't think I one-shot it with Fade Away, though. Oh, I hate taking that damage. I know Vesperat, who's the better play. But all I want to do is just use this a little bit. Fade Away. So, I'm going for the Fade Away here. He forfeited! Come on! Let me use my Duskit a little more. I'm going to call that a win, though. Honestly, Fade Away Duskit is honestly really scary. It's, it, it did very well today, especially with the Spirit Essence. This might be the best Fade Away user in all of Lumion Legacy, honestly. Maybe, probably even better than Imperior, which says a lot. I do think Imperior is still better than Duskit because of the ability Resentful. But as a Fade Away user, I think Duskit's better. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Fade Away Duskit, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!